Hey peeps and welcome to another Ice Ace 2 Mailbox Monday video. Um, we're going to try and get through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items today. I like the number seven. Seven is a magic number. So <laughs> we'll see how we do. First up is this huge box that's been sent in by... Um, oh gosh, where's his name now? Uh, I can't find his name. Ah, seriously? Okay. Oh, no. Um, John. It's been sent in by John Sharman. And this box is so cool. You'll find out why in a second. Look, we've got a locomotive. A photo, a photo, another photo. A wagon, another wagon, another wagon. And Lego Doctor Who. <laughs> of, well, of some sort. So I'll put the box to one side. Let's read the letter from John first. Okay, I've covered up his address, as usual. That address is mine, so that's fine. Well, the, the mailbox. Um, dear Will, hope you are well. I hope you are well. I apologise that the letter is, is not handwritten, as my handwriting looks like an ant soaked in ink has marched its way across the paper. <laughs> oh, I, I absolutely love that, uh, that metaphor, um, that analogy, or whatever you call it, John. I think that's genius. Anyway, in the box is my Hunslet J94 loco. Whiston, sorry, it sounds like a tank's just driven down the street. Featured in your video of the Foxfield Railway. I got the loco secondhand from a well-known auction site. Mmm, I wonder what that site was. The loco has been customised by the previous owner with painted cab, injectors and details such as lamps and coal. Accompanying the loco are a set of depot wagons. One Foxfield wagon. Oh my gosh. Um, and two J Settle Wagons. The J Settle Wagons were made for the 25th anniversary of the All Sager Railway Association in 2004 and were obtained by my late grandfather from the All Sager model shop. Look at that! J Settle! And it actually says All Sager. That's where I'm from, folks. The whole world, that is where I'm from. That's where I, that's where I spent most of my life. I mean, I've only been in crew for about six years. But I've been in All Sager for about 18, probably, no, uh, 22, 21. Uh, it's a long time. So that's, a, that's just amazing. Gosh, the world is so small. I have sent these in since I have moved from 00 to 009 due to a lack of space in my house. And I'd love to see how many wagons Whiston could pull in the conservatory and for you to review the loco. I'm in no rush to get the stock back. However, I would like them back at some point in the future. Not a problem, John. I also have put something for you and Craig to keep a Lego Dalek and a 3D printed, 3D printed PLP50 micro car. I look forward to seeing her working hard on your layout. Kind, kind regards, John Sharman. Uh, the one, the one from the hand start video. <laughs> P.S. You can keep the pictures. Ah, oh, John, that is just so cool. So this is someone, here's a guy who sent in a whole train. You've got the locomotive, and then it's rake of wagons. So we've got two J Settle wagons, which are really, really nice. And these wagons by Dapple are really good. And then we've got the Foxfield wagon from the Foxfield Railway, which I visited uh, at some point, yeah, uh, last autumn, I think it was. Or was it last summer? Could have been last summer. Um, oh my gosh, look at this. This is so cool. A 3D printed P50. I think that's what uh, Jeremy Clarkson uh, drove on the... Um, that episode of Top Gear. Look at that. Meep, meep, meep. <laughs> it's so cute. I hope it's in the correct scale, John. It looks a bit big. And then here we have um, a Lego Dalek, which I shall pass on to Craig because, oh, I think his, um, one, one of his, um, one of his, um, oh, his plunger, his plunger's come off. There we go. We'll just whack that in there. Stick that on. Ah, exterminate. <laughs> yes, thank you, John. I shall give that to Craig, and I'll probably put it on a layout or something, or Craig will keep it on his desk. Um, I'll, find, I'll find a little place for the P50. But as for the locomotive, watch out for a separate video on that. I'll get a separate video, a separate review, and some running videos done as soon as I can. Um, and then these photos as well, look. I don't know where they are. Oh, he's, oh, he's written them on the back. Oh, hang on. Apperdale Valley. Apperdale Valley Light Railway, AVLR.com. Huh. How cool. What funky little locomotives. They kind of, they kind of remind me of the ones on the Festiniog and umpteen Welsh narrow gauge railways. That's really cool. Thank you so much for that, John. And um, I shall do a special video on it, I promise. 
and I shall add the photos to my collection. Thank you very much. Next up, we've got a letter, a really nice envelope, really posh. Ah, oh, look. Wow. A drawing of a Class 58, my favourite locomotive ever. I heard the Class 58 was your favourite locomotive. <laughs> you were right. That's so sweet. And then, I hope there's a letter as well. Yes, here we go. Dear InCity82, um, Hi. Hi Will, my name is Tom, but you know me by my YouTube name. Uh, sorry, that's my phone. Wooden Railway 123. I would like to say thank you first because you were the person that got me back into model railways nearly two years ago. And here we are, two rooms full of model railways and a massive loft layout. The railway bug has certainly bitten me, so thank you. Oh, well, apologies to your bank manager, Tom. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't send you anything. Uh, but, uh, you don't, you have, you've sent a drawing. F folks, you don't need to send me models or anything. You can send in whatever you want, whether it's a letter or a dried up fig leaf, or well, preferably not one you've been wearing, or whether it's, um, like I say, a, a dragon's claw, an egg, um, a piece of cloud. It really doesn't matter, anything. Um, I started watching videos and I, I've loved them. Uh, they were really informative and really funny. Thanks, Will, for reading this letter. I hope in the future we could meet up at a Preservation Railway or Model Railway show if you wanted. Bye, Will. Hope to hear from you. Sincerely, Tom. Um, P.S. If you want to see my layout, I'll send you some pics on Twitter. Well, Tom, if you're watching this right now, please do tweet me. Tweet me some pics and I'll retweet them, because I'd, lo I'd love to see everyone's layout. I really do. So thank you for that. I shall add the artwork to my collection. I shall, I've got a folder now as well, by the way. Don't we show you? Ta da! <laughs> oh, yes, folks. Look, here we go. This is what I keep everyone's stuff in now. This massive, massive folder. Uh, it's seriously, it's the best way to do it. So, everything that, I, everything that you send in to me gets stored, it gets kept, and it's all nice and safe, so don't worry about that. Um, I shall add that to my collection. Next up, we've got another letter. Okay. So, nice and simple. Oh, well, hang on. Actually, oh, oh look. There's a cute little drawing as well. I don't know what... Oh, it's Smokey Joe. It says Smokey Joe, so it's a little 040, and it says it's, it's a GWR on the coach. That's really cute. Um, T. Will, NCT82. The slash has reappeared. I am a big fan and watch your videos um, anytime I can. Please, can you do a review on the BR West Country Class by Hornby? Mmm. I haven't done one, have I? Oh, there's just so many. I need a million pounds to get them all. Also, please get a premium 9F. Ah, like the one by Backman. Well, I, I, maybe, but I'd have to. I'd probably sell it on again afterwards. Please, 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 please write back. <laughs> well, I'll send you. I'll certainly send you a postcard and a badge. But I don't really have time to write out a proper letter. Um, P.S. Now you've finished the Battle of the Shunters, do a Battle of the Tenders, where you do the same, but with tender engines. Actually, you know... Leon, I think his name is Leon. Yes, I think it's Leon. That's a really cool idea. Please do comment below, let me know what you think. If you'd like to see a similar sort of thing to the Battle of the Shunters, but using tender locomotives, do comment and let me know. And if, if enough people want to see it, I'll do it. So thank you for that. That's a really, really cute letter and a lovely little drawing of Smokey Joe. I'll add that to my collection. And then I think we're on to number three or four now. So we're doing quite well. It's another envelope. Another letter. Okay, address covered up as usual. What beautiful handwriting. My gosh, that makes mine look like hieroglyphics. Dear IC82 slash Will, I have been watching your channel for about three years now. Three years, gosh. I think I only set up five years ago. I got my first train when I was four and then I lost interest. But when I found your channel, it re-sparked my love of trains, so thank you. The first ever video of yours that I watched was Opening the Virgin Pendolino from Hornby. That's why I drew a Pendolino. My favourite series of videos are the Thomas the Tank Engine Minecraft project, and I will be sad to see it end. Oh yes, but Jay, his name is Jay. Um, as soon as the Minecraft one ends, the GWR one comes in, and I think people will learn, I think people, well, I know people are going to enjoy that. Um, plus, I think Lady Flash Art, Lisa, is very funny. <laughs> yes. Yeah, she is. She's the uh, the comedy um, half of our duo. All in all, I love your channel and I'm very glad you created it, so thank you for all the vids. P.S. I would love a badge and a postcard. <laughs> you will get one, Jay. Um, all the way up to Glasgow. It will be dispatched right away. Oh, look at this. How cool is that? My logo in 
what looks like really, really fine graphic pencil, or one of those really fancy graphic pens. And then he's even done... Pendolino! He says, about the luminous, my yellow pen looks more like luminous, and the next shade up is orange. <laughs> well, actually, Jay, that looks pretty good to be honest. That looks really, really, really... In fact, I think they should all be luminous, because then they'd stand out even more, wouldn't they? So, thank you so much for drawing those. They are beautiful. Really, really good quality. I shall add them to my collection, and a postcard and badge are on their way to you. Okay, next up, this is a, an envelope, a letter, plus a package. Now, I'm going to show you the package first, okay? Just look at this. It's not an Airfix kit. It's not. I know it looks, I know it looks like an Airfix coat. It's not. Trains! <laughs> And not just any trains. Um, I should come on to who this has been sent in by, actually. So that I can say thank you. Okay. This has been sent in by Michael Champion. I do remember him getting in touch with me on Facebook about this. Um, Dear Will slash IC82, I have been watching your channel for a while, and I always look at your channel if I'm looking at getting a locomotive. I really liked the Engage project, the Battle of the Shunters, and the Minecraft project. It's great, even though I don't play it myself yet. <laughs> Watch out, Michael. Once you do start playing, it's hard to stop. Thanks for accepting my name for your house. Uh, that's the Minecraft house, not my real one. I have sent a couple of items for you to review for your junior series, the Backman models of Salty the Dockyard Diesel, who is based on a BR Class 07 shunter, and Toby's coach, Henrietta. Look at this, folks. Seriously. This is just so cool. Oh my gosh. Look, it's Salty. I mean, I, I'm a little bit too old to remember when he came in, but I do know of him. I know that he's from the series, and he's a Batman model. And, and yep, he definitely is. It says Batman on the bottom. And then we've got Henrietta's coach as well. Just here. How adorable is that? That is exquisite. Look at that. Absolutely brilliant. I am going to um, definitely include that in some videos. Toby is going to be over the moon. <laughs> He's not going to want Henrietta to leave. <laughs> um, underneath them, however, is something for you to keep. Uh, yes, because he says that he'd like uh, these two sent back after a video has been done. These European Orient Express coaches were purchased secondhand from my local model shop in Chelmsford, Essex, and I, not, although I had nowhere to run them at the time, I couldn't pass them up. Five years later, with still nowhere to run them, I'm slimming down my collection to mainly focus on double O and I would also like these to be kept as a set rather than being sold off individually. So as a thank you for all the advice, tips, reviews and entertainment you and your channel has provided, the coaches are for your office layout. Thank you, Michael Champion. P.S. You can have the Flying Hours token as well if you want it. <laughs> oh, seriously, this, this guy is so amazing. Look at what he sent. How cool are they? I'm going to hold them really carefully. Oh my gosh. I mean, I know that they're quite old. It looks like they might even benefit from a bit of restoration. But, just look at that. I know my friend Michael, who runs the, um, the Streamline Trains channel, he's going to love something like this. Because it's just such a beautiful coach. It's so grand. It does look like something you'd probably get making its way across the Colorado desert or something. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, Michael, for sending those in. I might even do a project on these and get them restored and running around the layout regularly. So that is really, really, seriously amazing. Thank you so much. And I shall do a video on Salty and Henrietta, and then they will be packaged back up and sent back to you. Um, I don't know if you want a badge and a postcard as well, but I'll send one just in case. <laughs> so I shall put that to one side. Gosh, I've got so much to sort out. Right, we're nearly there, folks. Okay. I love these. I love these post-it packet things or whatever. The post packs, I love them. They remind me of the bit from The Matrix where they just tear it off shh, and then a phone drops out. Neo, take the blue pill. <laughs> I think that is brilliant. Okay, right. We have a letter. Aw. Oh, it's Freddy again. Do you remember Freddy? He, I think he was like one of the first people to ever write a letter in. Um, my name is Freddy. I am 10. I think, he's, I think he was 9 last time. Freddy, have you had a birthday? Um, you may remember that I have sent a letter before. 
I would highly recommend a PC game called Euro Truck Simulator 2. <laughs> My dad has a wheel for that. He's got a proper wheel that you attach to the desk. He loves that game. Um, I seriously don't think I could find time to, um, for it. It is very addictive and realistic. I would also recommend Hornby's East Coast Coaches. Anyway, I hope you like the plan of my model railway, the wagon and the picture of an East Coast train. Please be aware that I did not take it. So he sent in a photo of an East Coast HST. That could be worth some money one day because I think they're going to replace those soon, aren't they? Thank you for that. And then he's also sent in, oh, look at this, a plan for his layout. This is so cool. So we've got the platform station here, um, a school, a drive, is that? Uh, this is obviously some sort of road, a pub, <laughs> shop, parking for the shop, a petrol station, a goods yard, an engine shed, um, platform, parking gates, lots of trees, a tent with a gypsy, <laughs> a Vauxhall Vectra, a Vauxhall Vectra, that's very specific, Freddy. Why not a, a Vauxhall Astra or a Ford Sierra Cosworth RS? Mm. <laughs> Sheep, cow, fence, steps, road, track. He's even included a key. Freddie, if you're doing this at 10 years old, just wait till you're 20. You'll have, you, I don't know, you'll be creating your own planning software or something. That's really good. And it looks like a good layout, Freddie. Definitely. Work on that. Colour it in. Make it better. And build it. He's also sent in this wagon look. This is just the, this is just so cute. Open! Oh, he's included a letter as well. Um, I don't know if he opened me. Look at this, <laughs> it's like a little game or something. Um, dear IC82, here is a little extra. I have decided to give to you from Freddy. <laughs> Aww. Freddy, you didn't have to. Um, that is such a cool little wagon, look. I've never seen that before. I don't know where he's got it from. It, it looks like quite an old box. I mean, look at the code. R142. An Evans and Bevan open wagon. And so I'm going to keep I'm going to keep the box as well because it's such a cool box. Thank you, Freddie, for that. That's really sweet. But you know, if you ever do want it back, all you have to do is say everything is logged and kept in a database. If you want anything back, even the artwork or the letters, you just have to let me know and it can be sent back. Not a problem, okay? Um, I think you've already been sent a postcard um, and a badge. I'll check. The database even tells me that. But if not, I'll get one sent out for you. So thank you, Freddy. That's really, really cool. <laughs> and then finally, this last letter. I've just got to check there's nothing else. <laughs> you always have to do that. You never know. You never know. This guy... Um, put so much contact information on it. I got, I got through like a pad of post-it notes. Uh, dear Will, I say to you, please excuse the word process letter. My atrocious handwriting is illegible and my typewriter needs more ribbon, which I currently do not possess. Though I loathe the use of modern technology, I still consider it a useful tool. Okay. Um, doesn't sound like he's a kid. I think he's um, uh, definitely older than teenage years. Anyway, I am writing, as sometime recently, someone mentioned a Class 91 East Coast Flying Scotsman. I suggested you review a Network Southeast Class 423 VEP. Having now acquired both of these in Hornby, I wondered if you might like to review them and have a look at them. Wow, thank you. Um, my Network Southeast 423 has never been run and is DCC fitted. The Class 91 has been run in and run once, but recently I've had to dismantle my railway. Oh no! So it's not been run for around 18 months. That's criminal. You can get arrested for that. These trains want to be ran. <laughs> I hope to set up my railway again soon with a new layout. I have it all planned. I have done some reviews myself, but none uploaded to the channel. Oh, there's his channel, folks. I'm sure he doesn't want me to cover that up. Uh, Michael McGuinness Models. There you go. So that's his channel. I'll put a link in um, the description underneath. Although I hope they will, there will be more soon. I wait in anticipation for the new projects and keep watching your videos. I am an avid fan of yours and can't wait for more vids. Uh, any further information is available on request. And his name is James Rice. Uh, can I call you Jim? <laughs> James, thank you so much for that. That's, that's a really, really thoughtful offer. Um, there's no rush. Seriously, there's no rush. Don't need to do it just yet. But certainly maybe sometime towards the end of the summer if you want to. 
that would be great. I would love to do a video on those. I know that the Hornby 423 VEP EMU is an exquisite model. Apparently, it seriously is stunning. But because it's third rail and it's based in the southeast, I've just never bothered getting it. I've just never. It's always other locos have always come higher up the list. Basically, you know, it's, it's been a low priority. Um, but if you would like to send one in, please do. I'll make a load of cool videos on it and then get it sent back to you. Um, so thank you, James, for that. <sighs> wow, so much stuff to sort. And I just went to the uh, Stapley House today. I went this morning. There was a box, seriously, this big, full of stuff. I, I, it only just fit in the boot. I'm going to have to really... Um, churn out more videos. <laughs> Four or five a week isn't enough. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to do one every single day. <sighs> I need some sleep. <laughs>